Hey guys, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got a video showing you guys how to be successful on YouTube. So your first step is to go over to my website, theipodtouchworld.com, and then clicking on the tab along the top, Want to be successful on YouTube, it will redirect you to a page where I've basically just got some bullet points on how to basically start off on YouTube. So the first thing that you really need to think about is making content for a niche market that you actually enjoy making content for. So for myself, I'm doing app reviews and tech videos, which is actually a very overcrowded market on YouTube. But the thing that you've really got to try and do is you've really got to try and push out the fact that you are a genuine person, uh, really try to communicate with your audience. You also want to try and make some really unique content so that your audience will want to come back and then obviously let their friends know. Another really important thing is making sure that you have a lot of social networks where you can interact with all of your content and then making sure that every video that you post obviously gets posted on those networks to ensure those extra views from your followers. Another really important thing that people don't really utilize is the annotations feature. I like to have an annotation where you click on it and it'll actually go over to my subscribe section so it's a really simple interface where users can just simply subscribe to my channel through there. I then also have my two latest videos in the top right corner. Looking on my analytics through my YouTube profile, I have noticed that annotations are very useful and I have gained a lot of clicks and a lot more followers from using them. Another really important thing that people don't try to utilize is using video responses. So the most basic way to use a video response is responding to your latest video with your previous video. Another really useful thing is obviously putting video responses to other popular videos on YouTube. Unfortunately, video responses aren't automatically accepted. So a really useful thing is maybe getting in contact with that channel and making sure that they do accept your video response or just requesting a video response on a smaller channel that has nice views. So probably the most important thing for becoming successful on YouTube is making amazing connections with people. Whether that be through commenting on every single video that you post, messaging other similar channels to try and make collaboration videos happen, or trying to get them to promote you on their social networks like Twitter or Facebook, or even on their YouTube channel trying to get a shout out. Also trying to make sure that you try and contact businesses to try and get a really nice relationship with them. Because one thing that's really important is a business relationship could last for a really long time. So you may only get one product sent from that company this year, but as new products come out, you can always check up their website and contact them. Them, and you've already got that relationship with them. So there's obviously some really big YouTube networks out there. As your channel grows, then I definitely recommend looking into the possibility of joining a network. They may take some of your revenue, but they definitely improve your advertising to other customers, as well as your exposure to potential new customers. A really useful way to get nice exposure on YouTube is giving away things, because everyone loves getting free things, obviously. You get a really nice buzz about videos where you're giving away things for free, because people obviously feel that you're a little bit more genuine, and they may feel obliged to subscribe to you for future giveaways. But all of these steps are a little bit further down the process. The main things that you need to think about when you're starting out on YouTube is creating a username that people can relate to and it actually really describes what your channel is going to be doing. Start out by making a really nice rapport with everyone in the YouTube community by commenting on their videos or subscribing. Another really useful feature is boxing them in your recommended channels box. A lot of people like doing box for boxes, but make sure that you are boxing with another channel with similar content and also make sure that they're genuine people and they have some really great content which will help promote your channel as well. Basically like your own little community, people will comment, like your videos, share, whatever else they do. You gotta make sure that you tap into those fans and keep them as loyal fans throughout your career. I could go on for ages about all the different things that you need to do to try and be successful on YouTube, but when it gets down to it, it's really just up to you. If you make interesting videos, if you have a really interesting niche market that you're trying to target, and also, if you're a really genuine person and you're committed to it and you post a lot of content and you communicate with the community and other YouTube channels, then I'm sure that you'll start getting a really nice little following. If you do tech videos or app reviews or anything like that, then you can actually contact me through my website. There is a little contact section if you want to do collaboration videos with me or if you want to post videos on my channel. I just want to make sure that they are professional videos and also they are tech related. But if you've got a few hundred subscribers and you really want to try and get your name out there, then I'm definitely happy for you guys to just contact me and send me over your video and I will actually upload it on my channel to get you that little bit more exposure because I know how hard it is to actually start out on YouTube. I've had a few different YouTube channels and this is my most successful one at the moment and I'm really trying to push this 
really trying to get a nice community and everything. Any other issues you have or any other questions, leave me a comment below in this video, send me a private message, contact me via my Twitter or my Facebook or, or whatever you want. There's so many ways to contact me. So if you have any questions, then make sure that you try and contact me and I will get back to you whenever I can. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you guys out and I really hope that you like my website and the little hints that I'm giving on there. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, show that like button some loving down there, as well as leaving me a comment below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to have a great day.